In this video, I am creating a dance game, and I'm specifically going to talk about how to use more blocks. Let's talk about some of the changes that I've already made. I've deleted the cat and replaced it with the ballerina, and with the ballerina's costumes, I have added arrows so that the player knows if they should press down or up, left or right. I had to create the left costume by duplicating the right costume and then flipping it like this. Here's the right costume. Press this button to flip it. I've also renamed these costumes. Notice this one is named right, left, up, and down. This will make it easier when I'm working in the scripts view and I'm changing costumes. When the game begins, the green flag is clicked. We set the points to zero, switch to the original ballerina costume, and the ballerina says level one. Then we start the timer. We're doing this by broadcasting a message, start the timer, because we're gonna restart the timer every time we hit a new level. The ballerina says repeat these steps. We are going to repeat the steps for this level until the timer runs out, and then we'll move on to the next level. Each step in the ballerina's routine is actually four blocks of code. First, the ballerina switches the costume, like this. Next, we wait until the player presses the right arrow key. We give the player a point. And we wait until the player is not pressing the right arrow key. So these four just make up one step in the dance routine. Here's what it looks like after I add three more steps in the dance routine. All right, so this is a lot of code here, but it's actually just four steps in the dance. Let's see if it works. We press the green flag, it says level one. The timer starts, it says repeat these steps, right, up, left, up. And when I press the arrows, I'm getting points. Everything is working nicely. If I press the wrong buttons, it doesn't let me continue. And after the timer runs out, it stops me, and we should be ready to move on to the next level, the next dance routine. So I would duplicate all of this for level two. And I'm gonna stop right here because this is getting crazy. This is gonna be so much code. There is a way we can simplify it. We can create these new blocks. The first block I'm gonna create is called Dance Up. Now, every time I want the dance step up, I simply can use one block of code, Dance Up. And this one block of code will run all four of those. It's gonna make the code so much simpler and easier to understand. Now to recreate the code that I had a minute ago. These are the dance moves for level one. Let's test this out. If I press the wrong button, it won't let me continue until I press the correct button. If I hold down that button, it doesn't give me extra points. It doesn't automatically move on. It waits until I release the correct key. All right, let's create level two now. Simply have the ballerina say level two. Restart the timer. And here are the dance moves for level two. As the time runs down, I should be ready to start level two. Level two.